Hello traders, welcome to this training video, day trading the MACDBB. I've mentioned the MACDBB a number of times in my live trading room the last few weeks and had a lot of inquiries about how to trade the MACDBB, particularly after I showed a slide, which I'll show you in a moment, uh, the inquiries increased. That is, how do we trade it? Where do we get it from? So traders, what we've got to be aware of though, of course, MACD, BB, it's not the holy grail, but combined with our trend following strategies, it certainly is a great addition to our indicators. So let's, uh, we're gonna delve into a couple of slides. I've prepared some handouts and I'll show you where you'll find those as well. And of course, we're going to look at the charts and proposed or potential entry points, etc. Now, as we get underway, we do know that there is a risk in trading. Don't trade with the rent money, don't trade with capital that you cannot afford to lose. And of course, uh, you're able to pause this recording, so please feel free to pause the recording, read the disclaimer in full. Now, how it all started was going back 11 years ago, I had uh, Russell Rice, a great moderator was working for me. And he sent me an email and he said, a few days ago I was contacted by an old trading friend who lives in Munich, very accomplished, serious trader. And this is on Forex, by the way, trading Forex. Uh, and he uses three Renko charts, a five, three, and two, uh, along with the MACD BB. When all three charts are in agreement, it takes a trade. He says the system is producing winners with a 95% accuracy. So naturally, uh, I was interested, wanted to find out more. Now at the time, uh, with TradeStation, the, the trade trading platform I used, um, the Rinko charts didn't have tails. So that sort of caused an issue for me because where I put my stop losses, I want to have be one tick above or below the high, the swing high or the swing low. So there was a, a, a challenge there with Renko for me. Now, back then I investigated it and it didn't seem to give me anywhere near 95%. Look, it was probably a 70, 75%. It really stacked up, particularly combined with our entries. However, it was still not quite perfect. Now, then a few days later, I received an update um, uh, from uh, Russell, uh, that was gee, back in May 2011. Uh, he's had a few days to test and, and observe. Uh, he said, and this is what Giovanni said, the worst thing you can do is fight the MACD BB. And so he sent uh, Russell a video and what it showed was he was only taking trades when all three MACD BBs were um, uh, basically trending in the same direction. Identical to what we do with our entry chart, anchor chart one and anchor chart two. Now, one of my members was kind enough to send me uh, or put me onto an indicator, which I've uploaded in a special file for Ninja Trader 8 users. I don't have it for other trading platforms, but I do have a comparison of other MACDs, which I'll show you in a moment. And they all do exactly the same thing, except this one's just prettier. Okay, so I can see a lot of members will want to use it. And I know in the trading room, I already know members are asking me, will I do some live trading to show them how to do it, which I will. Okay, so anyway, um, it is a great tool. It's not, as I said, uh, we've got to be careful of a shiny, next shiny, shiny object syndrome, uh, but it is a great tool when used correctly. Now, what exactly is a MACD? Well, look, the MACD BB is a trend and volatility based indicator. It's a combination of two indicators, the BB, Bollinger Bands, and of course the MACD itself. And so what we're looking for is for bands to constrict, to come together, uh, to consolidate, if you like, and then we're looking for the MACD to break out of those bands, if you like, very similar to a squeeze. Okay, so we've got both a volatility indicator, so we really want to be in the market when it's trending, and we've got the trend following indicator. So let's have a look at a few things here. So first of all, what I've got here is three, uh, this is Ninja Trader 8, I've got down the bottom here, I've got three different MACD indicators, uh, basically identical. 
The top one here is the one that I'll be referring to today. And you may notice those black dots, that's just the color change I've made. And I'll explain why when we get to the charts, but otherwise that would be showing green, then it turns red for a period of time, then it turns green, etc. But you'll show, I'll, I'll show you why I have it colored this way. Uh, this is the zero line. Now you can see the zero line here on uh, the other MACD charts are just basically a straight line where when this crosses, when this indicator crosses below the zero line, it turns red or above it turns uh, green. Now for my members and the majority of you watching this will be members, look at that there. Look at the crossovers. What's it coincide with? Our T20s. Look at that there. It's a T20 crossover. Okay, so it's just amazing. Um, uh, I just went and compared, and basically, in most cases, we've got a T20 when we have a zero line crossover as well. So I thought, gee, that is interesting. Now, down here, as I mentioned, we've got these two other uh, uh, MACD, sorry, yeah, MACD BB indicators that I have for Ninja Trader as well, which we're not going to pay. They do exactly the same thing, except they don't have the amount of bells and whistles as the top one does. So this is free now, just, be, just so I don't forget. Let me just show you where this is going to be kept. So where are we here? Let me just quickly get to my Google Drive. I actually closed it down before. Just pull up the members area. Just quickly logging in for you. And where is it? Here we go. So let me pull this over for you. Come on, over you come. So I've logged into the general members area and you will find there a folder called MACDBB. Okay, now I'm also uploading this into the NT8 indicators folder. Okay, so it will also be in the NT8 indicators folder and in the general area. Now, I mentioned I've got a number of handouts in there. The, the indicators themselves, I've also uploaded a workspace that I use for NT8 with it set up with the settings. But I've also taken screenshots of the settings that I have. If you want to model exactly what I'm doing, there are three screenshots because the indicator itself gives you a ton of options. It is excellent. There's gradient rating, the back, um, grading in the background, there's color background, there's all sorts of things. So many bells and whistles. And just while I think of it, one thing, try not to have it um, uh, hooked up on too many charts. I tend to find it does slow down your PC. Now it's all right if it's only on a couple, but if you've got it on every single chart, you're gonna find it will slow it down. Now, I've also got a number of handouts here. So uh, as usual, they are in Word, so you can alter them if you want to tailor them to what you do. So here we've got um, how many traders will use them, but we'll come back to that when buy signals are, are indicated, etc. I also have there, uh, let me just see here, what do we got here? Okay, this is the one we're going to go through in a little more detail. Um, when it's great to have the MACD confirming, like it's fantastic if it confirms a, a 2B or a slingshot or a 13B, etc. So we'll have a look at that. And all of these are great potential trade entries. So as you can see, there's a lot of different entries, but as always, focus on your 2Bs and your 34Bs. Once you master those, you own them, then consider adding other setups. So I've got a number of conditions which we'll discuss in a moment when we go to the charts. Now, let's also not forget that the indicator is also excellent for divergence. So what you'll notice is that I've taken uh, the MACD off my charts. Now, and just one other thing, well, I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, you'll notice there I've got a swing indicator, swing raise 2B. It's actually for um, uh, swing high, swing low. Just thought I'd put that in here, an indicator which is mighty fine. I've started to use that for targets uh, just very recently. So I've uploaded that as well. Now, getting back to uh, this, if we have a look at my standard 
trading chart. So this is my standard chart. So, uh, and just for the sake of the exercise today, we're just going to look at the um, uh, the 6A, the currency futures market. Uh, you'll see here it works brilliantly on, uh, this is on the uh, ES. This is a two tick ES chart. Your slingshots work brilliantly. It just once again, it doesn't matter which type of chart you've got. Uh, you can also apply where have I got that. Uh, if you like tick charts, you can apply the indicator and apply what I'm teaching you here uh, on tick charts as well. Slingshots, um, all your other setups work uh, just as well. So once again, it doesn't matter what market you're trading, whether it be futures, stocks or Forex. Yeah, Forex, let me get that out right. Um, uh, you can apply what we're going to be covering. Now, on the standard chart, if you don't have the MACD, just simply Google the MACD BB. Once again, very different to the MACD. It's on its own. This is um, a MACD BB, as mentioned, is two indicators rolled into one. Just simply Google it. Okay, so if you're using uh, MT4 or Trade of 8, um, or, look, Many of the other trading platforms all have MACD, BB, or you'll find it in the forums. It may not look as, as gorgeous as what the one I've got here for uh, NT8 members, but there's plenty of them around. Now, this is what we'd normally use, which, which along with the long-term stochastic does everything you need. So if you're a newer member and you just want to stick to our standard setups, just stick to our standard um, uh, settings and indicators that we use, okay? But you may fall in love with what I'm going to show you. So what I've got here is the one tick Aussie dollar. Now, for those that uh, may be unfamiliar with one tick, it sounds extremely fast, but in fact, the one tick is usually very tradable on the Renko chart. Uh, if it, if market really picks up, you might jump to a two tick, but uh, you'll find that the one tick works uh, brilliantly. And uh, I love it also on the uh, the euro and on the yen. It's beautiful on the yen as well, the one tick and the MACD BB. So back to this. So what we're looking for here, traders, when we're above the zero line, the general guide is we are in an uptrend. When we're below the zero line, identified also uh, by, see, uh, by these uh, red dots, of course, we are meant to be either trending down or in a downtrend. Now, what this indicator gives us is uh, buy sell signals. So when we cross above the band, we're broken out of a band, we'll see a little triangle there and the circle plots with the green dot. Now, what you will discover is that usually, like that was a 13B, that's a 21B. Uh, here we've got a, uh, a 2B. You'll find that in nearly all cases, we will have an entry signal using our standard uh, super scalper entries. Uh, the earlier, like for an example, there is a band breakout just there using the standard settings. Uh, and that's the triangle just there. Well, we would have already been in the trade down here. Now, what is interesting with this indicator is that you might, it might be hard to see, but see those black dots, okay? Black dot, uh, there's, there's one hidden there, there's a black dot there, there, uh, there. Um, there's one here, there's one here. That is when the uh, you get a crossover into the band from the outside. So here, we've been sliding up the outside of the band. So it's a beautiful trend trade right there. When we cross back into the band, we get the black dot. Now, what you'll see here is that in nearly all cases, if you're putting your stop one tick below the swing low here, okay, so one tick below, one tick below, uh, one tick below, uh, virtually every one of these, they're all winning trades. So not always, like this one up here, we've got a lot of divergence. So as I mentioned here, it's also a great divergence indicator as a MACD is. Now with my standard MACD, the, the uh, MACD Platinum, which is a zero lag, of course, uh, it's a lot more sensitive than the longer term MACD, which this is based upon. 
However, when you're getting greater and greater divergence, of course, uh, now's the time to sit on hands and rather than take any further uh, with trend trades. Now, let's now look at it in combining or combining this with our entry chart one and entry chart two. Now, sorry, entry chart one and anchor chart one and anchor chart two. Let me get this right. Goodness gracious. So here on the left, we've got our entry chart. We've got our anchor chart one and anchor chart two. Okay, so what um, uh, Giovanni was looking for was all three time frames, as we had just here, now all singing out of the same hymn book. As we had, and this I've just taken this random spot here, by the way, all three now are in an uptrend. We can see that this is an excellent uh, trend following indicator. Look at your bands here. See how the band basically had the squeeze just there very, very similar to the squeeze, uh, the TTM squeeze. So there you had a squeeze, we then had a breakout, we then even cross up above the zero line uh, and we've got green dots uh, here, but look at the trend of the channel, if you like, or your Bollinger Band at that time. So all three time frames are trending at that stage. Now, we can look at that, so one tick, that's um, uh, not a lot of money. But uh, here, by the way, you actually had a super scalper entry and a standard breakout, Bollinger Band BB breakout right there at the same time. Now, just there you had, uh, that was a good 10 tick plus move. Now that's $50. Now for newer members looking at that saying, oh, 50 bucks, that's not much. Now on this market, staying within our 2% rule, we only need $2,000 to trade it, okay? Uh, and that means we're never ever exceeding, uh, risking more than 2% of our account. Now on $100 a day on this account, you've got the potential of hitting 10,000 a week income within 15 weeks. And remember, for new members here, you're only adding an additional contract every time you double your money. So where we've got this compound effect, you're not starting to trade two contracts until you've got 4,000 in your account. Now, of course, remember you can get this in the members area, all right? Now, on $100 a day, and this is what I say to all members, is that forget the dollars, maybe think of ticks, or if you're trading Forex, pips. So with the Aussie dollar, if you wanna average $100 a day, which is uh, basically a 5% return per day on your $2,000 account. That's what it is, 5% a day. Uh, you only need 20 ticks net each day, okay, on this market. Now, if you go across, say, to the yen, which is beautiful for trending too, and this, and, and the bolly bands work beautifully here as well, you only need 16 ticks because on the yen, it's $6.25 a tick. Now, of course, uh, the, Aus the, the Euro, uh, sorry, the uh, ES is $12.50, but you might start on the micros, of course, if you've got a small account. But, but bottom line is this, okay? It doesn't take long to get wealthy once you master how to trade using these indicators. Now, let's look at this for a moment. Now here in this particular case, we can see that our MACD BB is starting to trend down. You can see here, I've got the black dots are within the band. Then we break out at the lower side, it's giving me a short signal. Now, if you look over on your anchor chart two, we are still in an uptrend. On the, anch on the anchor chart one, we're in a downtrend and the entry chart, we're in a downtrend. Looking at our EMAs traders, what's our trend? We are in an uptrend. Look, there's your super scalper, there's your super scalper, uh, there's your scalper, there's, we're in an uptrend. So what are we looking for? We're looking for long trades only, okay? So that's where we're looking for. All of a sudden we get all three timeframes start to trend together. Now, two 11 tick moves a day this one here and say this one here, uh, 
you've hit your target after commission. Okay, just 211 tick trades a day, you're there. Okay, now what about when we get up here? Well, if you want to be really fussy here, you can wait for, of course, you've got to look, that's a 21B. Um, you can wait for your deeper pullbacks for your 34Bs, if you like. Here's a 21B. Now, in this case, we can see the uh, MACD BB is actually retracing, but on your highest time frame, it's still in a solid uptrend. So naturally, uh, the higher time frame will give you a more reliable signal as far as trend goes. Now, if we look at this also here, what we've got on the anchor chart too, we've got a high high, we've got a lower high, we've got a beautiful divergence signal. Now, of course, we can't see that at the time until we expand the whoops, let me get this right, until we expand the anchor chart one, now it's more obvious. So what I prefer to have traders is this. So I prefer to have my anchor chart two, I've got naturally multiple screens. So I've got the anchor chart two full screen above, which gives me a much bigger picture view of what's happening with the trend, okay? Now, what about when we have these deeper pullbacks. Do we still take the trade? Well, yes, if it's a two or a three B, we still definitely want to take the trades. Now, you'll find a lot of these trades will turn into bet the farms, etc. but your two Bs are still going to be great trades. So what else can we do to perhaps keep us into potential losing trades in between? For an example, here is the black dot. Okay, which is temporarily, it crossed back over. Well, up here traders, you can see a T15, our green dots. When you have a deep pullback, no matter which time frame you are trading, consider waiting for your T15 to set up. That is for the five to cross back over the 15, sorry, five cross back over the 13. And that's what that is. We've got the five EMA, crossing back over the 13 EMA and away we go again. So my, my final conclusion on this is with practice and um, you know, it's a great indicator and I really like this one. Sorry everyone, I'll just pause this for a moment. Always a way, isn't it? Wrong number. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, so remember, when you're above the zero line, it's green. When you're below, it's red. Let's just have a quick look at maybe some of the uh, things. What did I have on some of these? Look, I think most of these we'll cover in, in the live rooms or in the coaching sessions as well. Um, so when you've got yellow round dots with red in the middle, okay, that's basically for it's a short indication for a short trade. That's when you're breaking outside the band to the short side. When you've got the uh, yellow and green in the middle, that is it's the round dot, it's yellow on the outside, green in the middle, you're looking for long trades. Now, the other thing is, do I have T15 trading conditions? That is, let's have a look at this for a moment. Do I have a great uptrend here? Uh, like just here, what's the bands telling me when I have some of these other entries? Now, what you'll find is on the entry chart, you're going to have a lot more noise as you can see just there. So when you've got a lot more noise, you may choose to wait for a breakout. Now, and this is where it's limited to some degree. So see that there, you would have just missed out on a beautiful 13B and 21B. Okay, so just be aware of that. However, if you're trading the black dot, see you had one just there, you had one just there, you had one just there, all of those were winning trades. Now, even with that one just there, where would our stop go? One tick below, we were kept in that trade. So as a reminder traders, so if we decide to take this entry, um, yes, we get a bit of a cross down, but I've got uh, my black dot means I've crossed back over under 
I'm looking for long trades. Okay, I'm still looking for longs. Now, let's also remember, I'm recording this Sunday afternoon US time. So we don't have any incredibly strong trends in place at the moment. Now, if you look at this here, what do we have right there? Let's look at the anchor chart. Well, right there, traders, we've got a 2B. We can see we've got our 2B there and here. So we've got a nice 2B bounce, but yet we've got some mixed signals on the band itself, but look at the black dot. And that's why I recommend you look at the screenshots that I've given you and look, play around with the indicator. There's so many different options on it. I've cut out a lot of the background shading and things because I find it distracting. But what you will find is, see the, uh, the down triangles. You had an entry there, entry there, uh, entry there. Uh, you, now you had an entry there, you would have been stopped out of that. That's going to happen. Had an entry there. Now for newer members here, you might be looking at these and saying crumbs is, you know, these are only four or five tick moves. Traders, remember you only need 20 ticks a day to, to become very wealthy in this business. That's all you need. Um, now, what about the deeper pullbacks? So I think I mentioned this earlier. When you have some of these deeper pullbacks, you may have the zero line cross, but look at the anchor chart one and anchor chart two. Let's just have a look at this one here, see what it's doing for us. So we can see there uh, and over here, we're still red. Okay, we've got a deeper pullback on the lower time frame, but we get a really nice move uh, with the anchor charts confirming the overall trend direction. So just using the zero line alone uh, is a can be when it is or can be a great trend directional indicator. Um, now that there is a 2B. 2B. Now they're standalone 2Bs that we just can't miss. Okay, so these are just our standard 2Bs traders. Now in that case, we had conflict on uh, we're trading against them, but the reason being is the settings on your your uh, MACD uh, will put it in an uptrend because look how many candles you've got retracing. Once again, I'll illustrate that with some live trades now. What was I going to say? Ah, but this is where you can also trade it, whether you trade tick charts or Renko, see the Renko tails. So if you look down here, we can see that the band is in a beautiful uptrend. The band is in a beautiful uptrend. The band is in a beautiful uptrend on the anchor chart too. So over here, you've got some beautiful, uh, you've got some slingshot trades uh, and you've got some rule of one trades. Okay, so you've got a couple of really nice scalps. Now, even over here. Now over here, we had all three bands were pointing down. Look at the the, um, uh, the dots are all in downtrends. Now, once again, you've got a beautiful 11 tick move there. Two of those a day. Now, there's another one. Uh, now, just to remind all members, how do you get the larger moves, two Bs? And because of a range of a number of um, entry techniques that we have, for newer members, all I want you to focus on initially is two Bs, then incorporate 34 Bs. You can then add other setups, your scalps like the rule of one here, the slingshot there. You can add those once you feel comfortable. But on the other hand, you may say, darn it, I'm just gonna stick with, there's a 2B, there's a 2B, okay? I'm just gonna stick with those here. <laughs> Look at your 2Bs here. Why trade anything else? Now, uh, what about this one here? This is a 3B, okay? You, so you can see there, you've got a beautiful 3B. How many ticks? Now remember, your entry, uh, there is a, th is a three B, won't be until the close of a fourth candle, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So with your two and three Bs, you also get your deeper pullbacks, your larger moves. But what about the scalps? Well, look at this again. I've got my band trending up on both my entry chart and my anchor chart. I'm gonna jump in and pick up five or six ticks 
here. Okay, I'll pick up five or six. Now, let's not forget here our process, and that is this. So let's just say here, uh, well, let's look at actually the, uh, this, we could apply this to the uh, Euro or the Yen, or of course the Pound, they're all 625 a tick. And the same principle, by the way, applies to any other market you're gonna be trading. But let's just say here that um, uh, I'm paying $5 commission, which is on the high side, I've got a six tick stop, and I'm only going for five ticks and I've got a 75% win loss ratio and I'm after 100 a day. I need to uh, execute 11 trades a day on average. Now, if I average six ticks a day, I only need to execute seven trades a day. Let's keep our win loss ratio down. And remember, on average, our two Bs are 82%, well above that. However, not all trades are going to deliver you eight to 10 ticks, et cetera. Now, all of a sudden, if you say, okay, I'm only going to go for the best of the best to hit my 100 a day, that's four trades a day. What does that really mean to me? With $2,000 account, I've got the potential to be earning 10 grand a week in 15 weeks. Now, for the full-time traders, and these are usually the young guns, by the way, all right, you can be there um, in 10 weeks, realistically. For if you just want to take it easy and cruise, okay, look at this here. You're there in 35 weeks. Your goal may only be, of course, to pick up a couple of grand a week out of these markets. So, traders, getting back, I'm getting distracted here. I'm actually being the reason being, I'm about to record a video uh, on using um, our spreadsheets and the correct way to use them. But when you've got your scalps, price rallies up, you get a little retrace and you're trending back in the direction of a trend. Okay, uh, here pull back, here pull back, back in a direction of a trend. Uh, now, one last thing, I don't wanna make this too long, I want to remind everyone about is this. So where are the pivots? Where's the open high, low and close? Where are the major? EMAs and where's the major support resistance areas. Do not buy directly at or into these levels. Do not trade right at or on a flat 89 or 200 on either the anchor chart one or anchor chart two. That is, this is what we also call a T28. That's, that's a pivot magnet trade there. Very high probability, okay? Because we're buying into the magnet. But what you've got to watch is if you've got an entry, say right here, we'll bounce off it time and time again, you'll get bounces off those levels. So it's very important traders that you know where your levels are. Likewise, let me just pull this down a little bit. Let's just see if we've got, we can see, see this uh, white line just here. This is the prior day's close. You will find we bounce off that every day. So the open, high, low and close areas are very important. Now, what about these divergence trades? Look at the MACD dropping away. Traders, don't trade them until you're consistently profitable as a trend trader, okay? Um, uh, seriously, it's not worth it. You only need four or five of these trades a day and you are laughing. This is what we call a fanning of the EMAs. I'm above the zero line. I'm in an uptrend. That trade is, is a 2B, a 2B, they're 34s. Here is another 2B. Now up here, if you had have taken these divergence trades, you had divergence there, would have been much more obvious on our normal indicator. However, you had one there, you would have been stopped out or only picked up a couple of ticks. Same, just there. But finally, you had a, a, a trend, tra uh, sorry, a divergence trade will account. Now, your best divergence trades are also off your pivots, which we have just there. But stick with mastering the trend trades. And I'm just see members time and time again, they, they master trading with the trend, they, they introduce uh, counter trend trading and their profits go down. Why? A bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. That is, when you're focused on your divergence trade, you miss the trend trades. 
it's just amazing. It's almost like they hypnotize you, okay? So you just wanna really be careful. But here is another situation here. You've got them on the way up. See my band is rising. I've got a number of rule of one entries and even slingshots, and I've got them on the way down and the band is on the way down. There, of course, we all know that's a 2B. Thank you very much again. So traders, look, the bottom line is the MACD BB in conjunction with the anchor chart one, and as you develop your skill set, the anchor chart two, um, they're fantastic. Um, they, they really add to your trading. Okay, uh, look at this here. We've got right there, uh, that's a 2B. We've, we're under the 200 now. Now, by the way, there's, look at this here. Remember just a few minutes ago, I was saying be careful of the 89s and 200s. That's why. See how we bounced off it there? See how we bounced here? Now, we then punch through. So the amount of times you'll bounce off for 200 traders is just, you know, every day we see this. For new members, we actually call these T12s. They're a fantastic standalone trade. But any tra anyway, traders, I'll see you in the coaching classes and those in the live rooms. Uh, it's a great tool. Uh, just get some screen time with it. Uh, have it on your anchor chart, uh, uh, entry chart and anchor chart one and two. And um, uh, yeah, you may fall in love with it and want to use it all the time. All right, traders, uh, I'll see you on the next video and I'll see you in the classes. Thank you.